One. Oh, my booty hole. Oh, Two. my God. I think I ripped it. Three. <laughs> Did you see that? I told you he ripped his asshole. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Oh. Just wow. Oh, man. That had to hurt. Thank you. Thank you, Chris Evans. You are truly a gentleman. Truly a gentleman. Anyway, to clarify, I was pointed out during that commercial break that, in fact, they've never tagged in the IWL, which is completely true. They've tagged elsewhere. So for future reference, if I ever refer to anything that you go, hey, that's not happening in the IWL, fuck you, I reference SoCal in general. Thank you. You mess up way too much. Didn't, yeah, you, I, didn't I, you win an award for fucking up so much? He sure did. Screw up of the year! Yeah! And you're proud of that. You gotta be proud of something in life. You need to fix yourself. You're a pleasant individual. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is possibly the strangest episode of ITV I've ever shot. Joining me is my semi co host, Chris Evans. And continuing with the recap of our show, we move to the actual Anarchy title match itself Willie Mack versus Johnny Suave. Big versus, well, normal sized human being. Johnny Suave tried to take you out... call that normal size? He's practically a midget. Thank you, Chris Evans, for the wonderful spontaneous commentary. Anyway, as I was saying, Johnny Suave tried to outquick Willie Mack, tried to drop the big tree himself, take it out the knees. But don't let me tell you about it. In fact, our kidnapping staff has been working overtime. And ladies and gentlemen, I bring you, also against as well, Johnny Suave! Hey, hey, what the... Hell, man. Take the head off. Hold on, hold on. Get off me. Hey, hey. Oh, wow, it's you. What are you doing here? I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm hosting ITV, I guess. What the hell are you doing here? I thought you were the host. No, I am. And um, No, he's the co-host tonight. <laughs> Such a big man with like your little toy boy belt right there. Wow. Well, um, ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Suave, Chris Evans, together on ITV. Why? Because we had a two-for-one kidnapping special. Mr. Suave, can I get your thoughts about your match to, uh, with Willie Mack? Because even though you went down, it's a valiant effort, and I believe... Uh, I'll take the thoughts first. Valiant effort? Man, it was a one-sided match. He got destroyed. He got squashed. It was like a squash match. Please. Do you honestly believe Johnny Suave would have beat Willie Mack? No. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> First, he tries to freaking overpower this big guy. This is such a little, little, tiny little boy. Try to overpower the big guy. Didn't work. Then they go on and on. And then Suave, get this. Suave goes for his little suave ton bomb freaking. <laughs> and get this, this is the funniest part. Willie Mac kicks out of the swan ton bomb. <laughs> he kicked out of his weak ass finisher. Can you believe that shit? It was great. It was amazing. And then Willie Mack goes on and freaking destroys him, pins him for the three, whatever. Wow, that, uh... Suave? Huh. Well, I mean, what are you supposed to expect out of Willie, man? I mean, he's, like, ginormous, right? What I... Gave Valley an effort, did whatever I could, wasn't good enough. Even the best gotta lose sometimes. You know, even the worst gotta get lucky once in a while. Is that possibly a reference to Chris Evans' title? Oh, um, yeah. Oh. That's right, stir in the pot, folks, stir in the oh, pot. Oh, Evans, what do you got to say about that? commentary? Commentary on what? All right, heck, we'll commentary on this. How about after Willie Mac destroyed him, I freaking used you. <laughs> I used you to do my finisher to show Willie Mac what I'm about to do to him. Oh, How about that? Oh, call that luck. Sir, call that luck too. You got sir. <clears throat> all right. So, you think that you're all high and mighty, jumping somebody that's already down? Finish a match. Already. Somebody... Oh, hold on. Already down. Now, yeah. if if I would recall, baby face Suave over here tried to jump me from behind while I was beating Willie Mac down. I retaliated her out, whooped your ass and his ass. 
That's 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 how I recall it. Play the footage. Play the footage. Let's let's see this. Roll the footage. Yeah, there, you see that? Jump me from behind. You got what you deserved. All right, look, all I got to say is that you look at me, Johnny Suave. I was Epic War Champion for the likes of almost a year, all right? Carried that belt with great dignity and pride. Made it prestige. What? 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 <laughs> dignity. <laughs> you just wish that you had the caliber of talent that I got with the people that I faced over my career already. Plus, I've beaten you. If you remember. No, I don't remember. You never beat me. Yeah, of course you don't remember because I knocked your ass out. I, I believe it was with that weak-ass finisher, too, Johnny Suave. That's right. That is correct. That weak-ass finisher you were claiming about with Willie, I seemed to get the one, two, three off of that when I landed on you. You know what? I had sex with ten girls that morning. I was tired. All right? That's the only reason why you won. Oh, my God. Wow. wow. That's a hell of an excuse. That's a new one. That's not an excuse. That's the truth. And my mustache is real. Hmm. Suave. Parting commentary. All I gotta say is that I hope you do win, actually, against Willie. Because I'm gonna be coming after that belt, and I'm hoping that you're the one that's holding it. Because, again, I've beaten you before, and I'll beat you again. Did, did, okay, getting shoved. Awesome. You know what? I earned my shot for the Anarchy title. Because other, unlike any other insane wrestling loser, I didn't have to punch Vic in the face to get what I want. Alright? I went in there and I earned my title shot. I whooped his ass just like I'm going to whoop your ass. Whoa, seriously, you got to stop pushing it out. Oh, yeah? Dad, d damn it! Yeah. Seriously! Yeah? What? Ah, d Scooty! Yeah. Hey! Hey! Fight! Fight! Bag him and Phantom! Bag him and Phantom! Ah! Fight! 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 Dirk it, Dirk it. I'll pick the smaller guy. <laughs> All right, yeah. Slow it. There's a van and a hood waiting outside for you, sir. You, yeah, I don't that's want it. the hood again. Yeah, take his stink ass out of here. That's yeah, that's it. Let's go. Let's go. Put go. the hood on. About damn time they took the trash out around this place. Is he gone? Yeah, yeah, he's gone, and he got hooded. So good. Yeah. Now get over here and let's finish this, so I can get the hell out of here and go back home. You know you go back home with the van in the hood also, right? You better not. You better not. Just telling you how it goes, brother. I don't make the rules. Just That just won't victim. happen. It's not going to happen. Dude, how do you think I get here every time? That's you. I'm the champ. That doesn't happen to the champ. Time will tell. Time will tell. Our next match at Justice for Brawl was the IWL Tag Team title match. Oh, that was awesome. Wasn't this the... This was the match that had the Rockers in it, didn't it? The Rockers were there, right? That wasn't the Rockers, dude. Who the hell was it? It's the Young Bucks. You know the Young Bucks? Been around for a couple years now? Pretty famous? Yeah, I know who the Young Bucks are. Thought it was the Rockers. I hate to disappoint you. Anyway, the Young Bucks, not the Rockers to clarify, took on the team of Watts and Chimera in a phenomenal match featuring very innovative high-flying stuff out of the Bucks. Oh yeah, innovative high-flying stuff for Chimera, right? <laughs> when, he, when he like tried to climb up and he like kept falling. <laughs> Roll that, we gotta see that. This is, this is Chimera doing his high-flying. Apparently this has become the Chris Evans funny clip show. Roll the clip. <laughs> How about that fancy footwork, huh? That was nice. Alright, well, all Chris Evan jokes aside, there are seriously the highlights of the match involving an excellent leg drop swanton combo from the Bucks, a wonderful heart punch from Jason Watts, because that doesn't get used enough anymore, and uh, Chimera and Jason Watts hitting a beautiful...